Hey everybody, I'm Jason, the host of Horror Face Off, and I'm thrilled to be joining the Kings of Horror YouTube channel family. We take two horror films and we pit them up against each other. We have strategic categories such as plot, setting, antagonist, kills, and many, many more. The panels go through all the categories and deliver their vote. At the end of the day, only one horror film will remain. Horror Face Off on the Kings of Horror YouTube channel, Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Hello, my shleebies. It is your boys, the non-problematic boys that respect women. We are right, right in the thick of the uh, the Justin Roiland experience. Uh, so uh, yes, he's getting his just desserts for being the worse than Rick. Rick even doesn't hit women. So you know, you either die a hero or live long enough to become the villain. Right? It's true. Yes. Um, but uh, we're we're doing the opposite of villainy. We are heroes, bringing you yet another uh, movie that we talk over. Mm -hmm. Once again, a feature that we do not bring you on the main channel, uh, as much as some people in the comments would like to accuse us of. We we only talk during our break segments. We do not talk over the movie. We talk over the movie here. Right. So if you don't want to hear that, then why the hell are you listening? To this? <laughs> so what are we watching? Well, today is uh, Valentine's Day. We're watching the 1981 film My Bloody Valentine, which came out after, obviously, the start of the slasher craze with Halloween and Friday and countless other ones. So, but yeah, My Bloody Valentine. I guess you're here for the action, right, kids? So uh, we'll go ahead and cue this bitch up. Yep. We're going to count down from 10, as we always do. So uh, we're going to hit play. We get the zero, okay. which is after one. <laughs> so we're going to go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Play. Oh, you know what? We've got a little theme going on here. Yeah. We got another Paramount yeah, logo. Yeah, two for two so far. These guys. These guys made a lot of movies in their day. It's a real shame to see where they've gone. It is. So, Mineshaft. Yeah, like how many how many horror movies have really been centered around mines, feature mines? Uh, it's not really very long. Oh no, there's not too many. I mean, there's The Descent, but that's mainly caves. I don't know. I mean, you have the classic segment of Halloween that centers around mine shafts and Michael oh, Myers. Oh, yeah. That's after this. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a Canadian film. It is. For better or worse. A. Eh? Eh. You a bunch of <clears throat> losers. And for those of you who are know the band called My Bloody Valentine, well, they did indeed take the name from this film. So, their name from this film. The less you know. <laughs> oh. I don't think you're supposed to be taking off your safety equipment <laughs> this deep in the mine. Probably not. But uh, perhaps he's trying to get deep in another mine if he gets the drift. <laughs> it seems that way. Is 
the whole premise of this is it's supposed to be like an urban legend, right? Um, the the mask stays on. <laughs> no, because it's it's mainly just like a something that happened, um, years years before and stuff. I mean, I mean this 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 is the whole you, movie for 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 what seventy five minutes. The thing I don't understand is, you know, why would you come down here with this dude if you know he's not gonna take that mask off during during sex, right? I mean, yeah. Like, Oof. Uh oh. And freeze. Classic so, logo. Such a nice little... Well, a little 1960s era animation on that. Thursday the, a... Thursday the 12th. February 12th. Yeah, and I guess the other thing that's weird about this is they really, uh, they really try to make, you know, Valentine's Day a thing. I mean, it's a thing. It's a commercial holiday. It is. It is commercial holiday. holiday, Yes. It's blatantly commercial holiday. (laughs) I do not support Valentine's Day. (laughs) What I do support is delicious popped corn. Uh Oh, by the way, did you hear about uh, the the one thing that's going out? The pops cereal, corn pops. No. What? You need to go buy boxes now. They're not. What? They're not producing it anymore. They canceled corn pops. Yeah. Well, they do pretty much give you diabetes. <laughs> You're so good, though. It's, I don't, the last few years, though, they've been kind of off. It seems like they've been, like, stale or something out of the box. They kind of taste like packing peanuts, or maybe I just grew out of them. I don't know. I, I used to love them, and it's like the last few boxes I've had have been shit. Dang. Well, I'll go check it out. I'm probably late to the party now. Thanks, Patrick. <laughs> Could have told me this, like, six months ago when you knew. <laughs> now... We have a classic 1980s homoerotic <laughs> shower scene. Yes. Featuring more partial nudity than you'll get in the rest of the movie. Actually, tonight. fun fact, everyone that's portrayed to be um, that way is completely nude. Well, you have to be nude. Everybody did cinema in the 80s completely nude. Yeah. Ask Larry. Get Larry on the phone. He'll tell you. He's a lawyer. There's a lot of Canadian angst in this film. <laughs> angst. That raw Canadian angst with their American cars. What, why are you like, sure we're we gonna get on today? This is like wacky racers or something, right? <laughs> it's, uh, uh, what's his name? Grimsley. Oh, uh, whatever. Um, is, even the dog. The guy, the dog. Uh, the Hanninger Mining Company. Dastardly something. Dastardly. Yeah, yeah, that's dastardly, 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 something like that. Yes. Dastardly and Muttley. That's what it was. Population 3735. Valentine Bluffs. Is Valentine Bluffs an actual real town? Uh They just take over a town. Probably took over. Let's see if I can see where it was filmed at. So we got these good old. Now, are are they blue color or white color? That was a blue collar. Good old blue. What, wait, they're blue? Yes, blue yes. collar. Yes, okay. They're the good old blue collar. Blue collar is like hard labor. You know White collar is like desk job. But you know what's interesting is the fact that this film has blue collar. Uh, like, you know, it's an age range that's not usually portrayed in horror films. It's like that. They're, they're not teenagers, but they're not like in their 40s or mid, even you know, late thirties. So it's a weird age demographic for, especially in early eighties horror film. 
because it's Canadian. You know, everybody there wants to do something cool because they're so bored. So they were like, "Hell yeah, I'll sign up for a movie." Uh oh. The first Valentine's dance of 20 years. I sure hope nothing ruins <laughs> what, it. What happened? Oh, you haven't heard? <laughs> <laughs> How many times have you mentioned it's the first Valentine's dance of 20 years? <laughs> In 30 seconds. All right. What other business? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that would that would probably probably freak me out too. Mm. And you have your Shelly uh, of of the movie here, a real prankster. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> boom! Roasted. It's a noisy world. Wear your hearing protection. <laughs> mm -hmm. The the West Coast. And Hawaii there's America. your, uh, yeah, I guess I don't know. There's your uh, exposition drop. That is a long ass pipe. Good it's all fun and games until somebody gets stabbed by a pickaxe. Are they drinking non alcoholic he beer? Probably. Uh, Heineken? I don't know. <clears throat> oh no, you dumb son of a bitch. I love me some cream filled chocolates. The he the would. Valentine's ones. You would. <laughs> yeah. You know what I absolutely loathe? I hate those fucking chocolate covered coconut ones. Bar oh god, no. Those are terrible. There's always one hiding out in every single yeah. assortment. <laughs> Yo mama. Mm. Uh oh. And your Oscar goes to Town the, uh, Mayor. The cop who ran over the curb. Backing up and the dog chasing. <laughs> Damn, they almost hit that dog. <laughs> they really did. <laughs> we can't afford to go back and and reshoot it. Just keep the no. footage of the dog in there. There you go. <laughs> He's like the crazy Ralph. <laughs> it's like it's two crazy old dudes talking to each other. But see, I think that the guy at the bar looks crazier than the actual bartender. It's the bartender who's coming off crazy as shit. Mm -hmm. Moosehead beer. They sure are. Slapping that all over the place. <laughs> it's Moosehead beer even still a thing. Let's find out. Miners do it deeper. Moosehead Breweries is the last independent brewery in Canada, still owned by Canadians. It's been a, a home to world world class beer since eighteen sixty seven. World Moose, class. World okay. class beers. <laughs> Well, I'll have to try to find a bottle and we'll decide how world class it is because 
I gotta say, uh, they Lone are, Star is pretty are, decent. Oh yeah, they are available in the U.S. Oh no, I mean they're, I mean, they're gonna be available in the U.S. There's all kinds of Canadian beer available in the U.S. Here's our backstory on good old Harry Warden. I forgot they actually spent some money on some practical effects. Yeah. Happy birthday. And this should have been told about by a campfire. I don't know. I feel like our campers came up with better urban legends than this old bunch of hoopla. Hoopla. You laugh now, you bunch of sexy teenagers. <laughs> You'll be sorry in about 25 to 30 minutes of runtime, depending on the pacing of the movie. <laughs> Stupid legend. They to probably have like newspaper pra- uh, paper clippings and stuff about. You know, the guy that says "stupid legend" is usually the first one to die. Yeah. Oh, what in the Canadian? <laughs> it's just a different world up there. You wouldn't understand. To where we? Not a better world, but a different world. <laughs> Yeah, is that cool? Damn. Paul. Paul? <laughs> Actually, I think that's, that's Axel. Get off my balls. Yeah, that's Axel. Because you keep talking to me. Why don't you put on a bra, huh? <laughs> we'll say they got a dope fake police badge for Valentine Bluffs. Yep. It just needs bullet holes in it instead of stars. <laughs> No shit. This dude's got a cigar in his mouth every non speaking line. <laughs> he does. Oh, that Howard Landers. What are you doing, Dr. Vinkman? <laughs> And this guy thought his acting career was going to flourish. Well, you're just the 
you know, medical inspector slash coroner. I don't know how things work up there. But, uh, I don't think you know the the details of uh, what's going on outside these walls, you nerd. <laughs> Could just be a normal psychopath chopping out organs. Could be. You would think that Harry would at least have gotten laid before he killed somebody. I mean, that just... I mean... It seems like a waste. Classic we don't uh, know. Michael Myers uh, laundry stalking scene <laughs> inspired. I mean, we didn't know that uh, what all went down in that insane asylum, so. Hey, it's true. You can get laid in a mental hospital. Uh oh, triggered. <laughs> He's got the details for the dance. You can't, you can't put more, posters more. up. You can't be letting fucking Lucent serial killers beer. know where the party is. A box of Moosehead beer. They, are, they, they must have like given the movie like just a case of beer and told them have at it. <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, all these poorly cut paper <laughs> decorations are really upsetting me. Valentine's Day. This is all uh. Oh, what's this? A wonderful treat. Oh, it's Jake, all right. Jake's heart. <laughs> and so are you. <laughs> Oh, surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> Some fries. Was she holding a laundry basket? That's not going to stop shit, lady. No. No, it won't. I will say the pickaxe is probably one of the most effective murder weapons. Right. Uh, utilized by any killer. <laughs> you don't really have to have a lot of force to cause a lot of destruction with it. That's true. Like machete, Mabel, you really right. gotta Mabel. fucking oh, yeah. swing that shit. Like Jason's it got has some to be ungodly sharp. strength. And then Mike, yeah, old Mikey is a—he's uh, just a savage man. Because uh, stabbing people with a kitchen knife is a lot of work. Mm-hmm. He just relishes the uh, the wet work of stabbing people. Yes. But Doctor Loomis, he prefers a uh, a revolver. That's a man we can get behind. Right. Oh, he got roasted again. Get better, nerd. Turkey for the turkey. Mm. Good old harmonica. Nothing like some sad Canadian harmonica. It feels like we're watching a episode of Cowboy Bebop. It does. <laughs> it does. Except everybody's white and Canadian. <laughs> I'd like to think Canadian that... bebop. <laughs> a Canadian bebop. <laughs> Wait, no, no. It'd be uh, what's it, they have the the, the mountain rangers up there. What is uh, it called? They're mounties. Mounties. No, I don't think Canadian bebop works because then you like uh, you got like uh, oh. Instead of Jet Black, it'll be Maple Syrup Mike. <laughs> maple Mike. And they won't have Maple Mike. They won't have um, money issues because they're Canadian and they just they're sensible and they would be successful bounty hunters. <laughs> and there'd be no drama, so it wouldn't be a very entertaining show because they're just like, oh, another successful bounty, we cook another criminal on the street. These aren't morally great characters. This guy was objectively terrible, and you don't have to feel bad about us killing him. <laughs> Right. He didn't have a crippling drug addiction or <laughs> he wasn't a fucking environmental terrorist. He was just a bad guy who kicked puppies. Yep. <laughs> he, he liked to kick puppies. 
to quote a uh, famous philosopher. <laughs> Here we go, oh, Axel and Edward. Axel and TJ are uh, talking about the female. Hey, man, we're talking oh, uh, about Sarah. my bloody Valentine, not Streets of Rage. Get your characters right. Oh, shit, maybe we got to talk about Streets of Rage. Now they're going to fight. That dick. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I know. I know. I done been there. He's like, crappy ass. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Foiled again. <laughs> It was some pretty nice uh, seats in that car. <laughs> right? Look, look at this guy. Where did he get that plate of food from? <laughs> They're in a junkyard. <laughs> what is it? I think he says it. It's like a. He was cooking something on. Something. Uh, yeah, he was cooking something on like the engine of the car. Oh, Jesus! Oh God, here's here's the poor man's Doctor Loomis. Doesn't even know where the hell his mental patient is. <laughs> On the slab. <laughs> Why the hell was there traffic noise on the right hand side? On the audio mix. Did you hear that? It was like a honk. In a oh car. yeah, it did. What kind of exposition is that? Where <laughs> is it implying she's in a big city? I don't know. This is a, that's a long amount of time to pass for there to be no reason for that audio cue. <laughs> it's like a car just pulled up and they're... Uh -huh. That's odd. And it was on the right side. It was intentionally put there. Yeah. It was only on one side. I mean, you done been had both. So right. make a decision or move on. Damn. Can we get to the important shit? Like, where the hell is my Valentine's Day dance? Mm. Okay, At least I they actually have... filmed this on the same street. You can actually see the reflection for the signs on the other side from the exposition shot. Uh, well, there you go. They didn't build another set just for some bullshit uh, storefronts. <laughs> yeah. You keep joking, you'll be dead too. You'll be dead. Sound. You'll all be dead. <laughs> Madam oh, Mabel is a laundromat. Here Why comes the L? Officer Hunker. No, I don't think it's a laundromat. It's like Laundriette. Laundier. It's because some fruity oh, name. Yeah. <laughs> Mabel, I'm sorry I couldn't save you. <laughs> Okay, how was the machine uh, still running? She's been dead for at least twelve hours at this point. No, no dryer runs automatically. Hmm. Good question. I mean, you can see that, but still, still, yeah, it's not going to run continuously for twelve no, hours. No, that's true. It's not. Uh, he, this motherfucker had down. to. Re uh oh. Now, why would you think to look behind that? There. They're so, they're so butthurt about Valentine's Day, man. They're just so paranoid. You see a heart turn the wrong direction, you just assume it's something bad. Well, I mean, yeah, in this case, the, okay, you're right are, one yeah. time. Congratulations, but I mean, come on, seriously, have some Moosehead beer. <laughs> the beer for closure. 
See, there's regular clothes in the other one. So he had to have started this like within the hour of of the sheriff dropping by. That's true. Maybe just like every hour he was. Ugh. Ugh. Brody. That would smell. Oh horrible. god! Could you imagine? Hot. It would smell hot. Hot. Moist. Damp. Moist. Human meat. <laughs> My favorite kind. <laughs> Human meat. The meat for deliciousness. Are they still bombing cola over there in eastern Kentucky? I mean, they don't do it like this. <laughs> well, no. They just blow up an entire mountain and then scrape it all away with tractors. Mm. Swing that pickaxe. Teach me a lesson. I've been a bad boy. <laughs> I wonder how they uh, got the safety clearance to film some scenes in the actual... In a mine. This looks like a real. Uh, yeah, it is a real mine. I can't imagine. Either it was really easy because there weren't any rules, but this is Canada. They usually have rules about this kind of <laughs> shit, you know. Mm, it's, this isn't this isn't your boys finding an abandoned uh, hole in the woods and then deciding to spend the entire weekend filming in it without telling anybody. So where are. the shooting location was at Sydney Mines in Nova Scotia. Um. When the locals found out that a movie was to be shot there, they decided to spend $50,000 to have the mine painted and cleaned. Painted? Well, I can't tell any paint was applied on those exterior shot buildings. He said this, of course, diminished the reason why the production wanted the location to begin with. The director said that $75,000 of the film's budget was then used to return the mine to its original state for shooting. Oh, Jesus. How Canadian is that? <laughs> in America, they wouldn't give a damn. They're like, oh, cool. Uh, hey, can you pay us $50,000? Uh, <laughs> just because you're using it, we're not going to fucking fix it up or anything. Mm-hmm. Just uh, give us the money so we won't make it um, here really bad. What is this? Where? What did he pull that out of? Dig away. <laughs> I'm sick of this. <laughs> What what crevice did you pull that out of? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it was a new note. I thought he was just saying that. The dance is cancelled. Quentin Tarantino said that My Bloody Valentine is his all-time favorite slasher. Um, then that means there must be something that satisfies his foot fetish in here. So mm-hmm. keep, a, keep a close eye out. Happy, happy horror crew. We're going to get to the bottom of this mystery. I ain't seen no feet yet. So why the hell is Quentin interested? <laughs> It does have a bunch of androgynous looking ass teenagers though, so I guess well, that is kinda of Quentin Tarantino too. Well but remember they're all like white collar or blue collar people. Clearly they have the they have the jobs. So <clears throat> Yeah, well, we we need to see more foot pics before I can believe this is Quentin's favorite. <laughs> that just sounds like a bunch of internet hoopla. Hoopla. Stupid. Got him. Got him. Ooh, big man. Peel out. Peel out. Ooh, big man. Right? 
<laughs> nope. nope. And yet she stays in the car. Could have gone out now, now, yeah, now. Must now, not want to leave now, that bad. Now. Even now. Even now. Haters will say it's fake. Haters <laughs> will say it's fake. I feel like this is gonna be like a commercial commercial for like insurance, like health, like some health thing. Okay, you too can sign up for whole life insurance with Yo Mama. Protect your family today. Only twenty five thousand easy payments of ninety nine ninety nine ninety nine 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 nine. Call today and get a second value pack of... No, call today for your free brochure. <laughs> Don't go to our website and read this. What Please, request me? a paper pamphlet in the mail. I mean, to be fair, it's kind of messed up. He just left and didn't call, send a letter, nothing. He couldn't, though. I mean... They got females in California. Allegedly. <laughs> I've never seen them. <laughs> I've been three times, four times, five times, but they might exist, and that's good enough for me. So no, you don't have to. You don't have to leave a forwarding address, man. You... True. I can't wait till everybody dies. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> we have our first Canadian sorry. <laughs> and that is the 34 minute mark, if everybody's taking notes at home. Yep. We made it through a third of the movie before sorry was used. Nothing else has screamed extremely Canadian other than the Moosehead beer. Their accents are pretty clean. Yeah, that's true. Lost the country in Canada. They just. It's basically just. The South. Yeah, it's like. But not racist. Yeah, it's like a less racist South. Until you get the French Canadia. And then just got a bunch of surly ass. Angry separatists. And some delicious food. I don't mean to disparage my Canadian neighbors, by the way. We're just poking a good bit of fun. Most of Canada is quite nice. I don't think I'd want to spend uh, too much time in the winter in the uh, in the northern, the northernmost reaches, though. So uh, it's pretty pretty cold, pretty desolate for me. You know, one of the best strategies to end up dead is to wander off alone. You know, we should try to see if we can't buy one of those neon moosehead beer signs. Well, the fact that they're still in business makes it much easier, I imagine. They probably still sell much. True, beer, yeah. So. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Was that a bunch of nudies on the wall? I think so. Wow. That's pretty aggressively Canadian. We're not going to actually show the actors naked, but we will put pornographic images mm -hmm. on the wall. That's the most passive-aggressive way to show boobies in a horror movie <laughs> I've ever seen. I'm upset, but mildly aroused. <laughs> so I'll allow it.
Oh, he said a bad word. You're not supposed to cuss in Canada. Tomorrow. Okay, sorry. There we go again. All right, they're doubling down on Canada. Oh, oh, he just disparaged Harry Warden. He just said piss on him. I don't think he wants to be pissed now. I sure do wish. I sure do wish I had more popcorn. I have to pretend to eat popcorn now. <laughs> Costco makes a pretty good popcorn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They sell it in like a 48 pack. Mm. It's pretty damn good. It's got a good ratio of uh, butter to corn. <laughs> and it pops like perfectly <laughs> every oh, really? time. <laughs> Listen. You know how serious popcorn is. I know. It's one of the few things I care about. <laughs> and I give I give Costco's Kirkland popcorn five hot wet kisses <laughs> and twelve bags of popcorn to use the uh, on cinema at the cinema rating scale. Oh me. It's going to be really funny when this poor guy is going to get himself killed fucking around with <laughs> pretending that the legend exists. It's yours. Keep it clean. Well, the, the question I have is, like, what's going to cause the kids to come to the mine and open that door tonight? <laughs> Well, like that's where that's where, where they're having the party at. Oh, that's where they relocated. Mm -hmm. How would he know? Because he's a bartender. He's a snoop. Instead of running his bar right now <laughs> and making money, he's out here trying to own the libs. Oh, and that's what you get. Ooh, <laughs> the eyeball popper. That's exactly how Tom Atkins dies in the uh, in the remake. But I don't think it's through the eye. I think it's through the cheek. Oh, that's right. Tom Atkins is in the room. Uh, old Tom. That magnificent man. That mustachioed Marvel. <laughs> what is your favorite um, obvious Friday Halloween slasher ripoff a la My Bloody Valentine, Batman, The Burning? What have you? New Year's Evil. I was. I think New Year's Evil is so stupid. <laughs> it's funny. Like what the hell? I mean, this is pretty dumb. <laughs> like having a movie based around Valentine's Day, but at least it's got like the coal miner yeah. thing. It's kind of it's cool. a close like, sure. I mean, I mean, like it's like the, the way it looks like. The premise is dumb. <clears throat> yeah. The name is stupid, but I like. I like the miner killing people with pickaxe. Yeah. Like, but I feel like you could have done this any other way mm -hmm. and it still would have worked as a movie like the whole valentine's day yeah. shticks dumb mm -hmm. oh i'm surprised they're not using a moose head beer uh -huh. box they're just throwing around things of jiffy pop <laughs> we have so much jiffy pop they're, they do they have like a whole bunch of jiffy pop it's like that's not even ready to go i mean Oh no! But it's wrapped in plastic. Surely it's just Surely. A normal, commercially like available isn't, isn't, chocolate. Isn't uh, shrink wrapping gifts? Is it? I mean, that's a that's a deluxe. Yeah. Bitch says what? Go get me a coffee. You can tell who's inside the desk duty and who's the real balls around here. You know. These chocolate boxes look like they have bad tasting chocolate in them anyway. I would never open this. This looks like something you'd find in your grandmother's, you know, end table. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's been sitting there for 20 years. Yeah. It's all like rock hard, stale ass coconut candies. <laughs> oh, too soon. Mm. Too soon. 
Yeah, you remember Mabel? You got her killed. By not being there. This guy. You need to cosplay as him for a convention. Nobody would get it. Exactly. Even less people get it than my Outback. True. At least two people got Outback. No, Bonk. Don't worry about Newbie. He's, uh... He's occupied. <laughs> Is that the Canadian Molly Ringwald? <laughs> <laughs> Is Molly Ringwald Canadian? <laughs> Somebody fact check. Don't fact check me. I don't want to be fact checked. I don't. Uh, I don't do any research. And it shows, but you people still show up. I think I defended my points very well in the uh, in the debate. And if I didn't, she is not so Canadian. What? Okay, so my I'm allowed to make the analogy. Sure. Because she's not already Canadian. No. Otherwise, it'd be redundant. <laughs> Damn, that was a glizzy <laughs> goddess right there. Did she just eat two hot dogs at once? <laughs> I need those digits. <laughs> I like me a gal that can throw down some tube steaks. <laughs> hot dogs constitute a very large part of my diet. Uh, I fucking love hot dogs. I do too. I'm not going to apologize for I had a, the nice I had a, 100% beef dog. I had a fried bologna okay. sandwich today. Ooh, that's good too. You got to have Nathan's or Hebrew National. It's mm-hmm. got to be got to be 100% beef dog. Oh, imagine being killed in, <laughs> killed in hot dog that water. That boiling hot dog water would suck. <laughs> <laughs> what if I don't know if it would kill you that way. What if a hot dog like went up in your mouth because you were you know Then you would die happy. I would. Yeah. Reminds me of Angela's Frank and Beans. <laughs> that was a damn fine recipe mm-hmm. by the way. Very much so. Even though here's your fun behind the scenes fact, everybody. I uh I decided it would be a shame to waste all that food we made for uh, you know, what ended up being like a forty five second clip that took two hours to do. <laughs> Um, uh, I took like a uh, two gallons of uh, of Franken beans home in gallon plastic bags and ate it for the next three days, <laughs> and it was it, the last bite was just as good as the first, but it was kind of gross carrying around a cold uh, beanie weenies around in a across state bag. Yeah, across state lines. Damn, it was really good though. Because I don't even really like beans. I don't all either. That much. I don't either. But I, I, I'll eat like, that though. That was good as <clears throat> fuck, man. Now I want Frank and beans. I do have some Frank and I got some beanie weenies in mm. the in the pantry there mm-hmm. for cook or for uh, camping, just because they're easy to make over a fire. Yeah. I mean, what party? What damn party? Shut up, nerd. <laughs> what are you going to do? You're not even allowed to carry a real gun. Oh, Jesus. That one's definitely not chocolates. <laughs> what I love is this motherfucker's just running around all over town <laughs> dropping off organs and nobody notices. Right. Like, He doesn't drive. Not, not that, you're not gonna. Not that we know you're not gonna see a fucking guy in like a full mining outfit, like carrying around. I mean, this is ridiculous. Preposterous. <laughs> Preposterous. You tell me, everybody in Canada just minds their own damn business. I feel like there's more snitches up there than there are down here. Oh, I don't know about that. That kind of shit would fly here. You see somebody walking around with like blood dripping off a pickaxe? Like, oh, uh, sure, he's probably one of those weird anime weebos going to the convention. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Oh. That's not consent. Remember, Justin. Oh, yeah. Mm. Has he got the Fred Jones outfit? He's got the ascot on. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh-oh. Mm. Bullshit. Six hours on 
Um, doesn't he, doesn't the Axel here look like the guy who played Harvey Dent in The Dark Knight? Yeah, he does. And he also kind of looks like the dude from um, Dawn of the Dead. The one cop yeah. that gets bit yeah. in the leg. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, what's his face? It's the hair. Yeah, it's the and hair. The nose. <sighs> man, that's a... Man, I haven't watched Dawn of the Dead in a hot minute. We need to do a... Uh, we need to May, do Dawn of the Dead, May Day the of the Dead. Dead. We need to do a double do some a double zombie layer. stuff. Zombie commentaries in May. <sighs> Those are just the best. Man, there's, there's portions of the remake that I found enjoyable. That's the only Zack Snyder thing I really like. Was that Zack Snyder? Yeah. Really? I guess, yeah, I guess that makes sense. They got a lot of Zack Snyder shit in them. Yeah. I mean, take out the stupid zombie baby bullshit. Oh, yeah. The rest of it's pretty fast. Mm-hmm. Cool. I like the, I like how they make the armored van. It, yeah. It kind of, it kind of leads into the Land of the Dead. Land of the Dead yeah. shit. Uh, so that was cool how they make it, but then it goes horribly wrong when it flips over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it shows you the risks of uh, putting a bunch of chainsaws on the side of a moving vehicle. Absolutely. So. But man, the original, you just... Classic. Chef's kiss. Just the whole thing. The whole the whole start opening like 20 minutes with the TV station. And, and the apartments and stuff. It's just... In the apartment box, yeah. It's like, man... Romero doesn't give you any backstory, but that was the closest you were ever going to get. Yeah. They did a lot of exposition in that. There's some backstory, but well, not really of how it started, but how it ended. Or it one, shows you where it's at in Day apart. of the Dead, though. Because they had the. Night of the Living Dead is just kind of like, what the hell's happening here? It's like the radio. Mm hmm. And then everybody dies. Yeah, basically. <laughs> it's, it's very sad. But it's at one place. Tons and. Oh boy, I sure hope uh, us fornicating in this mine is not going to be a problem. Dot, dot, dot. There's a redhead. We got a red hair alert, folks. It is. And uh, he was not... He Did he have any speaking roles? I don't remember the gentleman <laughs> at the party. They got a total stranger who made it big at the party here. I mean, to be fair, he's probably having the best... Night of everybody up to this point. Some weed? <laughs> oh, responsible Canadians. Look at that. Beers. Did you call them beers? Beers. Beers? Like ears. Beers. Ears. I do appreciate that nobody in Canada seems to own a bra. So this is my, this is my, we are, we are two for two on no commentaries one. for excellent nipple action. Was there none on the first one? And Friday? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call that E-N-A. That's e- Shelby's E-N-A. Excellent nipple action. <laughs> Shelby's E-N-A, all right. Yeah, this motherfucker didn't have a single no, scene in the party. I don't this guy is completely new to me. <laughs> have we missed something? I, this is like the first speaking lines he has in the movie. He was talking and he's to supposedly a friend. Um, somebody drowned in that hot dog water. <laughs> Here's the glizzy goddess again, back for more. <laughs> Damn, that's a bold ass heart. <laughs> <laughs> they did do a good job on doing like the burnt skin. Yeah, how can I? They showed it in the shot. Blister? Well, they showed yeah. it in the shot at the bottom of the pot uh, <laughs> that his skin was already blistered up. That was pretty cool. Why are you wearing a ring? Are you married to the Lord? That's on her right hand. I know. I'm just saying. But she could be. It's Canada. They might do things different. It's like... How do you know? Bizarro U.S. It's the 51st state, according to Fallout. That's true. They annexed Canada in, like, 2048. Maybe in our lifetimes. Fingers crossed. We'll get that sweet, sweet tax revenue from those Canadians that actually pay their taxes. Yes. Somebody has to. And again, guys... By the time you're listening to this, I will be in the Caymans... (laughs) 
<laughs> and just uh, as a, a reminder, check out our coverage on the remake versus r- original My Bloody Valentine. We compare the 1981 film to the 2009 film. Yes, 2009. And we talk about the di- how they're like, how they're different, which one overall is a better film. Was so, uh, that's was on, the remake, over on the YouTube channel. Was the remake made by New Line? Because um, that's... I'm just, like, thinking, like, Freddy vs. There was a lot of, like, horror shit done around 2008-2010. Like, reboots and resets of franchise. Like, you know, Freddy vs. Jason is, what, 2008? No, 03. 04. Oh, I'm gonna think it's so late. Uh, no, the, um... Oh. That's not good. Mm Mm-mm. All that for your beers. It came out, um, it was released by Lionsgate. Lionsgate. Oh, this, this was directed real... by um, oh, Patrick Luster oh. and written by Todd Farmer. Uh, Todd, Todd Farmer. Shall we? Todd Farmer? Yeah. That's a pretty gnarly death scene, though. I will say, this has some pretty inventive... It does have some pretty brutal kills. What it lacks in nudity, it makes up for in Carnage. True. So, yeah. Yeah, getting in the shower. All right. (laughs) I mean, yeah, technically she is. Yeah, mm -hmm. true. Quit fooling around. The film was shot in... Actually, no, never mind. That's the remake. I think they still make the pull tab uh, beer cans as props. Oh, yeah? That's cool. That's wild to believe that they were just... You just ripped them off <laughs> and just tossed them on the ground. Yeah. That's what people did. And, this, oh my god. This was... Very common until the mid '80s. This is did everything this, this right. Is society. I brought a condom and everything. He did everything right. He was respectful to women. But well, you know look, what look he did? He was trying to have sex out of wedlock, and mm. that's a sin. Yes. Excellent nipple action. Doesn't spare you from the wrath of God. <laughs> and people who should have stayed in mental hospitals but were released too early. Honestly, this is a commentary on the failure of mental health. Uh, even I mean, in a you system have, You have Michael Canada. Myers, you have yeah. Frank Reynolds, you have Harry Warden. <laughs> I mean, the Michael Myers thing would have been sorted if they just let Dr. Loomis shoot him when he was a teenager. <laughs> Loomis was advocating for him to be put in a high-security facility. They didn't listen to him. Right. He said there was nothing between those eyes, but evil. Pure evil. Mm-hmm. He's got an entire monologue. He does. And while he's ranting, that <laughs> motherfucker gets out. Sometimes the best cure for a mental health crisis is a 38 special. Oh boy, let's go to the mine. What kind of rule is that? <laughs> the it rule. Was a different, it was a different time. I'm sorry, everyone. I mean, it was time. what? Uh, th- 40 years ago? Over 40 years ago now. Gosh, God. A long time ago. We're old. You know, every movie that comes out that came out in the 80s is now going to be 40 years old. I don't, starting with I don't the, everything from 1983. I don't, I don't need you. Reminding us. Are you are you in that mindset that you feel like when someone says twenty years ago you think the eighties, or ten yeah. years ten years ago you think yes. the nineties? Okay, yeah. I, so I'm not the, I'm not the only one that, that just still has that mentality. Yeah, like mentally, I just I feel like two thousands like my current year somehow. Yeah. It's like oh yeah, cool yeah. Twenty years ago it's eighties. Seventies was thirty. You know, sixties yeah. was forty. Yeah. 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 It's just easier mental math. I don't want to do the real <laughs> mental math. Right. Oh, you're both going down. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> that seems safe. You all spend all day in here sober, uh, <laughs> working. It's very dangerous conditions. So let's just get drunk and uh, just drive down there in the middle of the night when okay. nobody knows we're here. Yeah. Seems legit. Do you have any desire to, like, venture into caves or anything? No, well, I mean, I've been in a cave, but not a mine like that. No, yeah. I I had to go in one one time, and I will never do it again. It was very claustrophobic. I bet. And it, the mine was. Mm -hmm. The cave was okay. There was I, one tight I'm spot. I'm not big on like, caves, though. Cause was... I've been like the Mammoth Cave and shit. Yeah. We walk in those. Yeah, this yeah. was like a cave that had some narrow, like the entrance was narrow. Mm-hmm. It was basically like one of those big corrugated iron, like, like that you put it in ditches. Yeah. But it had a ladder in it. Like, it was a cave you could access. They put a ladder in it, but it was, like, really sketchy getting into it. Yeah. It was, like, kind of, like, at an incline. And there was one spot we had to, like, <clears throat> crawl. But it had a lot of places to stand up in it. Mm -hmm. And it had, like, a... It was really loud, though. There was, like, a river, like, rushing through it. So it was, like, really noisy, echoey. I also don't know about, um... So, when this comes out, the um, fine folks who made uh, Stop the Killer, Silent Night, Dylan Night board game, of everyone who pre-ordered the My Bloody Valentine one, um, will have, should have arrived. And it has like a, I forgot what, it was a couple of different cool things, like uh, koozies or something like that. So, let us know if you want to see us play some... My Bully Valentine or Silent Night Deadly Night uh, board games in the future. <clears throat> Maybe they just put like a heart in each box for the people that pre-ordered it. A real human heart. Yeah, that would be nice. Be a nice touch. Hollis. I forgot his name Hollis. Uh, I'm going to explore a shaft of my own. <laughs> <laughs> the music. Ten dun, minutes. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I only need thirty seconds. Am I right, <laughs> fellas? <laughs> hey -o. <laughs> I'll see you next Sunday. How romantic! Excellent nipple <clears throat> action. I can't it's not really that bad here either. <laughs> well, can't believe you know what to say about dipping your pen in company ink. You'll get stabbed by a pickaxe in a mine somewhere. Yep. <laughs> I do love how there's this many people still left of the main party. <laughs> right. We've officially reached Scooby Doo. Let's split up, gang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's there's old uh old red red herring. <laughs> Dave is dead. Oh no. Oh no. I gotta get a new boyfriend. Oh no. But he I'm needs sure a new girlfriend. So there, you can just so everybody <laughs> oh, yeah. just kiss. I'm sure one of those uh very copy copy and paste style. Good old boy Canadian male will uh, step in. Police and fire department nine 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 five four five four. I kind of doubt it, but quick, what's the number for nine one one? Nine 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 five four five four. She's getting nasty in the chefs. There's your uh, parody film. My name in the shafts. My play Valentine. F fan Down in the film. Shafts. Good. I mean, you only told him to leave. He didn't have to flag him on. <laughs> so dramatic. I mean, where else are they going? Oh, they're going to drive down the mine with their damn car? Oh, I didn't know which way to go. I thought you wanted us down there. Uh, 
Oh, well, Harry's already down there. <laughs> Good luck. The the call is coming from inside the house. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this This just seems like a nightmare from a liability standpoint. Yeah, I agree. Having a bunch of untrained professionals in an actual underground mine that's not been kept up with. Oh, Hollis. He's like, uh, what's his face from Inside Out? I haven't seen that. I've only seen parts of that. I oh, haven't sat dude. down and watched that. Dude, I haven't watched like, the last like ten Pixar movies. I know. Right? We talked They're making about too this. many now. It's hard to keep up with them. Used to, they'd make one like every four years. It was easy to keep track of. <laughs> I watched Toy Story 4. Yeah, it was okay. It wasn't bad. That's just immature. Us adults do not appreciate your child, your childish humor. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Famous last words. <laughs> His laugh sounded like John Candy's laugh. I did go. Ooh. It's a Canadian, Canadian big, big, big boy. Uh, I would love to do a uh, vacation rental. That's very much not yeah. traditional horror, though. No. But it, it's the horrors of a vacation gone horribly wrong. <laughs> Uh-oh. Who's, who's breathing? Nosferatu. <laughs> Yeah, you're the glizzy goddess. <laughs> the we gliss. saw you handling them tube stakes. <laughs> Let me get them digits. <laughs> Main shaft. Oh, you know. Because the damn people painted the mine, <laughs> and we didn't want them to do that. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. Because they're coming instead of going. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. S- seems legit. <laughs> That'd be terrifying to see. It. But like no he's, shit. he's really slow at the same time. And he so missed a couple like of lights, which is kind of embarrassing. You know, he's <laughs> it's hard to see. I'm sure he's <laughs> fogging up. Oh yeah. I mean, imagine you have to go back and be like, oh, go back and take Fuck. a few steps and break one. Just the light bulb on for your effect. Okay, okay, Daddy, Daddy Chief, save us. The fuck kind of driving is this? You should arrest them for being drunk and driving. It's true. Hello, my shlevies. It is your boys, the non problematic boys that respect women. We are right, right in the thick of the uh, the Justin Roiland experience. Uh, so uh, yes, <clears throat> he's getting his just desserts for being the worse than Rick. Rick even doesn't hit women. So you know, you either die a hero or live long enough to become the villain, right? It's true. Yes. Um, but uh, we're we're doing the opposite of villainy. We are heroes, bringing you yet another uh, movie that we talk over. Mm-hmm. Once again, a feature that we do not bring you on the main channel, uh, as much as some people in the comments would like to accuse us of. We, we only talk during our break segments. We do not talk over the movie. We talk over the movie here. Right. So if you don't want to hear that, then why the hell are you listening to this? 
So what are we watching? Well, since Patty. today is uh, Valentine's Day, we're watching the 1981 film My Bloody Valentine, which came out after, obviously, the start of the slasher craze with Halloween and Friday and countless other ones. So, but yeah, My Bloody Valentine. I guess you're here for the action, right, kids? So uh, we'll go ahead and cue this bitch up. Yep. We're going to count down from 10 as we always do. So uh, we're going to hit play. And we get the zero, okay. which is after one. <laughs> so we're going to go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Play. Oh, you know what? We've got a little theme going on here. Yeah. We got another Paramount yeah, logo. Two for two so these far. Guys, these guys made a lot of movies in their day. It's a real shame to see where they've gone. It is. So, My shaft. Yeah, like how many how many horror movies have really been centered around mines? Feature mines. Uh not really very long. Oh, ago. no, there's not too many. I mean, there's The Descent, but that's mainly caves. I don't know. I mean, you have the classic segment of Halloween that centers around mine shafts and Michael oh, Myers. Oh, yeah. That's after this. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a... Uh, Canadian film. It is. For better or worse. A. Eh? Eh. You a bunch of <clears throat> losers. And for those of you who are know the band called My Bloody Valentine, well they did indeed take the name from this film. So their name from this film. The less you know. <laughs> Oh. I don't think you're supposed to be taking off your safety equipment <laughs> this deep in the mine. Probably not. But, uh... Perhaps he's trying to get deep in another mine if he gets the <laughs> It seems that way. The whole premise of this is it's supposed to be like an urban legend, right? Um, the the mask stays on. <laughs> no, because it's it's mainly just like a something that happened, um, years years before and stuff. I mean. I mean, this 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 is the whole movie for 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 what seventy five minutes. The thing I don't understand is, you know, why would you come down here with this dude if you know he's not gonna take that mask off during during sex, right? I mean, yeah. Oof. Uh oh. And freeze. Classic so, logo. Such a nice little. Well, nineteen sixties era animation on that. Thursday the a... Thursday the twelfth, February twelfth. Yeah, and I guess the other thing that's weird about this is they really uh, they really try to make you know Valentine's Day a thing. I mean, it's a thing. It's a commercial holiday. It is. It's it is a commercial holiday. holiday. Yes. It's blatantly commercial holiday. <laughs> I do not support Valentine's Day. <laughs> What I do support is delicious popped corn. Oh. oh, by the way, did you hear about uh, the the one thing that's going out? The Pops cereal? Corn Pops? No. What? You need to go buy boxes now. They're not, what? they're not producing it anymore. They canceled Corn Pops? Yeah. <laughs> well, they do pretty much give you diabetes. <laughs> You're so good, though. I don't, the last few years, though, they've been kind of off. 
It seems like they've been like stale or something out of the box. They kind of taste like packing peanuts, or maybe I just grew out of them. I don't know. I, I used to love them, and it's like the last few boxes I've had have been shit. Dang. Well, I'll go check it out. I'm probably late to the party now. Thanks, Patrick. You could have told me this like six months ago when you knew. <laughs> now, we have a classic 1980s homoerotic <laughs> shower scene. Yes. Featuring more partial nudity than you'll get in the rest of the movie. Actually, tonight. fun fact. Everyone that's portrayed to be um, that way is completely nude. Well, you have to be nude. Everybody did cinema in the 80s completely nude. Yeah. Ask Larry. Get Larry on the phone. He'll tell you. He's a lawyer. There's a lot of Canadian angst in this film. <laughs> angst. That raw Canadian angst with their American cars. What you wacky adventure like, are we going to get on today? This is like Wacky Racers or something, right? <laughs> it's, uh, what's his name? Grimsley? Oh. Uh, Whatever. Um, is it? Even the dog? The guy in the dog? Uh, the Hanninger Mining Company. Dastardly something? Dastardly? Yeah, yeah, that's Dastardly. 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 Something like that. Yes. Dastardly and Muttley. That's what it was. Population 3735. Valentine wonder, Bluffs. Is Valentine Bluffs an actual real town? Uh -huh. Or did they just take over a town? Probably took over. Let's see if I can see where it was filmed at. So we got these good old. Now, is it, are, are they blue collar or white collar? That was a blue car. Good old blue. What, wait, they're blue? Yes. Blue yes. Color. Okay. They're the good old blue collar. Blue collar is like hard labor. You know White collar is like desk job. But you know what's interesting is the fact that this film has blue collar. Uh, you, like, you know, it's an age range that's not usually portrayed in horror films. It's like that. They're, they're not teenagers, but they're not like in their 40s or mid, even you know, late thirties. So it's a weird age demographic for, especially in early eighties horror film. It's because it's Canadian, you know, everybody there wants to do something cool because they're so bored. So they were like, hell yeah, I'll sign up for a movie. Uh-oh. The first Valentine's Dance of 20 years. I sure hope nothing ruins <laughs> what, it. What happened? Oh, you haven't heard? <laughs> <laughs> How many times have you mentioned it's the first Valentine's Dance of 20 years? <laughs> In 30 seconds. All right. What other business? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that would that would probably probably freak me out too. Mm. And you have your Shelly uh, of of the movie this... here, a real prankster. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> boom! Roasted. It's a noisy world. Where are your hearing protection? <laughs> mm -hmm. The the West Coast. And of there's your, uh, yeah, I guess I don't know. There's your uh, exposition drop. That's a long ass pipe. Mm 
It's good all old fun and games until somebody gets stabbed by a pickaxe. Are they drinking non-alcoholic he- beer? Probably Heineken. I don't know. <clears throat> oh no, you dumb son of a bitch! I love me some cream-filled chocolates. The you the would. Valentine's ones. You would. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I absolutely loathe? I hate those fucking chocolate covered coconut ones. Bar oh, God, bar. no. Those are terrible. There's always one hiding out in every single yeah. assortment. <laughs> Yo, mama. And your Oscar goes to town the, uh, mayor. The cop who ran over the curb, backing up, and the dog chasing. <laughs> Damn, they almost hit that dog. <laughs> they really did. <laughs> we can't afford to go back and, and reshoot it. Just keep the no. footage of the dog in there. There you go. <laughs> He's like the crazy Ralph. <laughs> it was like it's two crazy old dudes talking to each other. But see, I think that the guy at the bar looks crazier than the actual bartender. It's the bartender who's coming off crazy as shit. Mm-hmm. Moosehead beer. They sure are. Slapping that all over the place. <laughs> it's Moosehead beer even still a thing. Let's find out. Miners do it deeper. Moosehead Breweries is the last independent brewery in Canada, still owned by Canadians. It's been a, a home to world world class beer since eighteen sixty seven. World Moose, class. World okay. class beers. Well, I'll have to try to find a bottle and we'll decide how world class it is. Because I gotta say, uh, they Lone are, Star is they pretty are, decent. Oh, yeah. They are available in the U.S. Oh, no, I mean, they're, they're still gonna be available in the U.S. There's all kinds of Canadian beer available in the U.S. Here's our backstory on good old Harry Ward. Forgot they actually spent some money on some practical effects. Yeah. Uh oh. Happy birthday. And this should have been told about by a campfire. I don't know. I feel like our campers came up with better urban legends than this old bunch of hoopla. Hoopla. You laugh now, you bunch of sexy teenagers. You'll be <laughs> sorry in about 
25 to 30 minutes of runtime, depending on the pacing of the movie. <laughs> Stupid legend room. They probably have like newspaper paper, uh, paper clippings and stuff about. You know, the guy that says "stupid legend" is usually the first one to die. Yeah. Oh, what in the Canadian? <laughs> it's just a different world up there. You wouldn't understand. To where we not a better world, but a different world. <laughs> Yeah, is that cool? Damn. Paul. Paul? Actually, I think that's, that's Axel. Get off my balls. Yeah, that's Axel. Because you keep talking to me. Why don't you put on a bra, huh? <laughs> we'll say they got a dope fake police badge for Valentine Bluffs. Yep. It just needs bullet holes in it instead of stars. <laughs> Dude's got a cigar in his mouth every non speaking line. <laughs> he does. Oh, that Howard Landers. What are you doing, Dr. Vinkman? <laughs> And this guy thought his acting career was going to flourish. Well, you're just the, you know, medical inspector slash coroner. I don't know how things work up there. But, uh, <laughs> I don't think you know the, the details of uh, what's going on outside these walls, you nerd. <laughs> Could just be a normal psychopath chopping out organs. Could be. I would think that Harry would at least have gotten laid before he killed somebody. I mean, that just... I mean... Seems like a waste. Classic we don't uh, know. Michael Myers uh, laundry stalking scene <laughs> inspired. I mean, we didn't know that uh, what all went down in that insane asylum, so. Hey, it's true. You can get laid in a mental hospital. Uh oh, triggered. <laughs> He's got the details for the dance. You can't. You can't and there's more, more. Up. You can't be letting fucking Moosehead serial killers beer. know where the party is. A box of Moosehead beer. They, are, they, they must have like given the movie like just a case of beer and told them have at it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, all these poorly cut paper <laughs> decorations are really upsetting me. Valentine's Day. This is Ola. Uh... What's her oh, name? What's this? A wonderful treat. Oh, it's Jake, all right. Jake's heart. <laughs> So are you. <laughs> oh, 
little surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> Some fries. Was she holding the laundry basket? That's not gonna stop shit, lady. No, no, it won't. I will say the pickaxe is probably one of the most effective murder weapons right. uh, utilized by any killer. You don't really have to have a lot of force to cause a lot of destruction with it. That's true. Like machete, Mabel, you really right. gotta Mabel. fucking oh, yeah. swing that shit. Like Jason's got to be ungodly sharp. strength. And then Mike. Yeah, oh, old Mikey is a—he's uh, just a savage man. Cause uh, stabbing people with a kitchen knife is a lot of work. Mm-hmm. He just relishes the uh, the wet work of stabbing people. Yes. But Doctor Loomis, he prefers a uh, a revolver. That's a man we can get behind. Right. Oh, he got roasted again. Get better, nerd. Turkey for the turkey. Mm. Good old harmonica. Nothing like some sad Canadian harmonica. It feels like we're watching a episode of Cowboy Bebop. It does. <laughs> it does. Except everybody's white and Canadian. <laughs> I'd like to think Canadian like, bebop. A Canadian bebop. <laughs> Wait, no, no. It'd be uh, what's it, they have the when the mountain rangers up there. What is uh, it called? They're mounties. Mounties. No, I don't think Canadian bebop works because then you're like uh, you got like uh, oh. Instead of Jet Black, it'll be Maple Syrup Mike. <laughs> Ma- Maple Mike. And they won't have Maple Mike. They won't have um, money issues because they're Canadian and they just they're sensible and they would be successful bounty hunters. <laughs> and there'd be no drama, so it wouldn't be a very entertaining show because they're just like, oh, another successful bounty, we cook another criminal on the street. These aren't morally great characters. This guy was objectively terrible, and you don't have to feel bad about us killing him. <laughs> Right. He didn't have a crippling drug addiction, or he wasn't a fucking environmental terrorist. He was just a bad guy who kicked puppies. Yep. He, he liked to kick puppies. <laughs> to quote a uh, famous philosopher. <laughs> Here we go, oh, Axel. That and, word. Axel and TJ are uh, talking about the female. Hey, man, we're talking Old, uh, about Sarah. my bloody Valentine, not Streets of Rage. Get your characters right. Oh, shit, maybe we got to talk about Streets of Rage. Now they're going to fight. That dick. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I know. I know. I done been there. He's like, crappy ass. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Foiled again. <laughs> It was some pretty nice uh, seats in that car. <laughs> right? Look, look at this guy. Where did he get that plate of food from? <laughs> They're in a <the> junkyard. <laughs> what is it? I think he says it. It's like a. He was cooking something on. Something. Uh, yeah, he was cooking something on like the engine of the car. Oh, Jesus! Oh God, here's here's the poor man's Doctor Loomis. Doesn't even know where the hell his mental patient is. <laughs> On the slab. Mm. <laughs> Why 
why the hell was there traffic noise on the right hand side on the audio mix did you hear that there was like a honk in a oh yeah it did what, what kind of exposition is that where is it implying she's in the big city i don't know this is a, that's a long amount of time to pass for there to be no reason for that audio cue. <laughs> it's like a car just pulled up and there. Mm-hmm. That's odd, and it was on the right side. It was intentionally put there. Yeah, it was only on one side. I mean, you done been had both, so right. make a decision or move on. Damn. Can we get to the important shit? Like, where the hell is my Valentine's Day dance? Mm. Okay, At least I they actually have... filmed this on the same street. You can actually see the reflection for the signs on the other side from the exposition shot. Uh, well, there you go. They didn't build another set just for some bullshit uh, storefront. 